Here is another one of those videos that won't be important to most people, but uh, needs to be made. I made one a long time ago. And uh, someone recently asked a question, you know, like this wasn't a big deal. You can drill through the, the uh, trimmers and the king studs and fine, knock yourself out, drill through them. You know, I would check with my local building department first or a structural engineer. And the reason for that is because I have worked on quite a few jobs where you are not allowed to drill through the king studs. I'm in Southern California. And keep in mind that these building codes change over time. But uh, by the time you're done watching the video, hopefully this will make sense. And then why drill through them if you can go around them and simply do some modifications to the kitchen cabinets if this is where it is going to be. A lot of times this problem right here arrives when you have a kitchen sink in front of a window in a kitchen. So um, that's usually the biggest problem. Bathrooms uh, don't seem to be that big of a problem because most of the times they're not going to have a window in front of the sink. They're going to have a mirror. So here's what the vent might look like if you drill through the king stud. Pipe coming up here. This is going to be the drain coming out for the sink and then the vent coming up here. This would be an inch and a half pipe. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what the building code books suggest. And this would be for a load-bearing wall. You're not allowed to notch more than one quarter of the stud width. So three and a half inches would be about seven eighths of an inch. Five and a half inches would be about an inch and three eighths. Now it does not say how long the um, notch can be, which is a kind of, uh, you know, there are a lot of things in the code books that uh, say one thing, but don't say something else. So pairing, apparently you could notch this whole stud down and not have a problem. I wouldn't do it, but uh, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Now, when it comes to drilling holes, anything more than 40% of a wall stud in a load bearing wall is going to require a double stud and uh, you're not allowed to go more than 60% period. 60%, 61% would be a no-no. So you'd probably have to replace the stud and uh, tear apart all the plumbing, I would imagine. So between 40 and 60%, you're going to need to double the studs up on a two by six. Here you can see that you could run an inch and a half vent pipe through it without a problem. Now, this is not talking about a king stud. This is These right here are talking about wall framing studs. So not this situation right here might not be acceptable where you double up a the king studs. And I'm just showing you this because I, the, I think this is where the individual is going. You know, you could just double up the wall framing stud and be fine. Maybe you can. You know, maybe you can't. And another thing... You know, when it comes to a king stud, you got the king stud here, and this is going to be supporting the um, the weight above it. And then we have a trimmer, and you're drilling through both the trimmer and the um, king stud. And I don't think this is that big of a deal, anything supporting the windowsill. But, you know, if you had a 6-foot or a 10-foot um, window, which you're probably not going to have in a, in a kitchen, and do you have a it's an or it's in a three-story building and you have a lot of weight sitting on top of the header sitting on top of the wall this is when this stuff starts to make sense so um, you know on a single story house with a composition roof um, you know roof shingles you don't have a lot of weight on the roof um, something like this probably never going to have a problem with Okay, now here's what the building code does allow, and I did. Our, I already made a video. The previous video was about uh, this right here. I will put a link here to um, so you can go check that out. Not allowed to go through more than two wall framing studs. And again, this is just an example for those of you who aren't going to watch um, the other video. So just wanted to throw in an example. You double up the studs if you're between 40 and 60%. Um, of the hole. If you've drilled a hole that's between 40 and 60 percent of the width of the stud, something like this should be acceptable by most building authorities. 
Something else would be to move it on the other side and then bring the drain line in at an angle. So this right here would give you a drain here and you might have to put a put a 22 and a half degree or a 45 degree um, line on it to make everything work out with it like this. But if that doesn't work, sometimes you can move it over and get a straight shot to the center. So you're not going to have you're going to have a straight vent and a straight shot with the drain to the sink. I kind of just drew a plan there of what the sink would kind of look like if you had the center drain. If you had one big giant sink, most of the time we have like uh, two or two or three sinks in our kitchen and uh, the drain has to go around the garbage disposal and stuff like that. So this would take a little bit of planning. Another thing I need to point out is that the drain arm here, and this is usually referred to as the fixture trap arm, um, on an inch and a half pipe, it uh, usually can't go more than 42 inches. So that's um, probably 42 inches from the center to the center of the drain. Um, but I would imagine if you were 44 inches, you're probably not going to have a big, not going to have a problem with that. But uh, you could always go two inches. You could have a two inch drain here and a two inch um, trap arm and then an inch and a half vent pipe up. And if that's the case, you need some more room. That can go up to five feet. So keep that in mind. And there are, um, you know, a couple of things that I seen on trap weirs or the um, drain weirs. And uh, remember, I'm not a plumber. I'm more trained in... Uh, Framing. It's not to say that I can't uh, provide you with information about plumbing. It's this isn't rocket science, um, but you do need to check. You, know, you can't get confused here. You know, I seen one where if you had a quarter of an inch per foot with a two inch, you could run it eight feet, um, and that might be fine if you're underground or you're working on things. It, it's not the same thing as the um, fixture trap arm. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. So. Hope it helps. Um, hope this uh, clears up some of the confusion with um, king studs. Really, there's no reason. I really don't see any reason why you got to drill through these. At the worst, you're going to have to cut some notches in your cabinets. Or um, if you're going to have a row of drawers in here, you might need to make one drawer shorter than the other. And other than that, I really don't see that big of a thing. A cosmetic, you know, look. Um, you know, you don't want to see this in a cabinet or something like that. Okay, well, what are you going to, you know, what's worse to have the structural integrity of the building compromised or, um, you know, a door you're going to open up in your cabinet and say a little bit of pipe, you know, pipe uh, in the finished product. I'd rather see the pipe.